You actually pay attention to your horoscope? Every day. I read it every day. It's actually pretty accurate. Accurate? In what in what way? Well, it keys me into what to watch out for in life. You know what? Why I may be feeling a particular way on a certain day. All right, what did today's tell you? Oh, it said, yeah, right. You have had your fill of certain people make a clean break. There are, however, changes in the air. And a person in uniform could deliver the key to your love, life, and happiness. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. It says that? Yeah. Oh, that's me. Uh, that is me. No, that's me. I, I am the man in the uniform <laughs> that, that can deliver the, the key to your love, life, and your happiness. No, you I wear a uniform. <laughs> Unless it's your mailman. What kind of relationship do you have with him? Her. So you don't have to worry. You know what? No, no, no. You said you don't buy into the whole astrology I thing, never, so therefore this does I, not apply to no, us. No, no, I never said that I oh, didn't Oh, yes, buy. you did. I <laughs> never said that I didn't buy into astrology. I said I was a little suspect of it. What is this, the, the Daily News? Yeah. I'm sure it's a very accurate reading. It's good stuff. And it's, what does it say? That you should make a clean break. See that? What do you think about that part of it? Like I said, it helps me make decisions. How, how did you end up with this guy that you're with anyway? How did you end up with this? The man is married. He's de he's a dentist, right? He's, right? he's also 100 years old. So he's got three major strikes against him. In my eyes, three strikes, you're out. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> no, it was just, it was really simple. I was just sitting in the park one day by school, and he came up to me, and he hit on me. Are you a model? If I were a model, why would I be sitting here studying right now? <laughs> That's very funny. Well, well, you should be if you're not, because you're very beautiful. You have a very different look. It's not a, I mean, you're not a classic beauty. I think you have the look of the new millennium. The look of the new millennium? Yeah. yeah. But you, you are kidding, No, right? no, I'm not kidding. I'm serious. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I think you do. Yeah. <laughs> look, at you, you're very, look at your nose. You have a beautiful nose. Beautiful. I had it fixed when I was 13. Really? They yeah. did a great job. Oh, a great job. Wonderful. I'm Griffin, by the way. Ashley. Nice to meet you, Ashley. Hi. Beautiful name. So what do you say? Thanks. Will you let me take you out sometime? Or? Are you married? Married? Why do you say yes. that? Where do you get that from, that I'm married? Because you have a ring on your finger? Isn't that a ring? Yeah, yeah. Well, technically I'm married, yeah, but I mean, I'm not really married. Oh. No. I mean, we have an understanding. Oh. Yeah. Oh, so is this understanding between you and your wife or you and your dick? <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny. That's very funny. The man is, is, what, 39 years old? How old are you? 19. Mm -hmm. When you were in fifth grade, he was 32. Or like when I, when, when he, he, he was my age, you were just being born. Or like when, uh, let's say when... when no, I get the point. You have to admit, as you get older, the age gap does shorten. Mm -hmm. yeah, maybe if you were 16, he was 80, it wouldn't seem so weird. But, but honestly, I thought that he was your father. I bet a lot of people think that. You know, we don't really go out a whole lot in public. But you'd be surprised. Most young girls do want to go for older guys because most young guys, you know, they just want to screw as many girls as possible. They don't want a commitment. They just want a lot of conquests. Here you go. What kind of commitment does a married guy give you? So what would I be to you? What, just another notch in your belt? Ashley, are you... Are you kidding me? Are you crazy? Do you know that I would marry you? I would marry you today if you say yes to this one. I got Come on, let me take you out on a date. Great time. I'm the, I'm the man in the uniform, you know? What do you say, please? Yeah, really? Okay. Yeah, no, I, I no, definitely see, don't think so. This is very upsetting. These are, you know, these are some it's classic so albums you're rejecting. What are you doing? How do you not know I'm these sorry. albums? I'm sorry. These are records that shaped rock and roll, you know, shaped the world that we live in. Yeah, but I don't you listen to do this that. kind of music. This is your kind of music. All these, this these guys are, they're dead. Uh, they're all dead. They were dead before all I was even dead. born, Carson all of them. And Hendrix, yeah, but... Like the Rolling Stones, like only one guy died really early on in Rolling Stones. Oh, and they replaced them and like they were still great. So okay. like I think that uh, like the most mandatory album if we're gonna start a, um, a record collection for you is Exile on Main Street. Like this is a, this is a no-brainer. Okay. okay. And then like 
We're gonna have to get some Zeppelin for you because otherwise, you yeah, have Zeppelin one. Is this is possibly the greatest, no, it, it is possibly the greatest debut album of all time. Okay. Ooh, except, of course, greetings from Asbury Park. You have to have this. You have to have this, okay? New Jersey. Are you good? You're set here. This okay. I, oh, you're so good now. Are you sure I'm good? Oh, you, these, there's like 80 zillion records I in here. I am positive. If you, honestly, if you don't like these, you're have, you have problems. Uh, we're going to have problems here. If you can't see the beauty and like the poetry and the, the, the majesty and like the brilliance, of these albums, then I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with you. You have a deficiency in your soul or something. No, I'm working. Oh. <laughs> I'm working in you. Can I be honest with you? I hope you're always honest oh, with I me. am. I am. Yeah. Totally. But I think that this is really important. I think you're the most beautiful woman I've ever known. <laughs> you're kind. You're so sweet. And I think, I don't know, I think I'm falling in love with you. Sweet. You're sweet. That. <laughs> sweet. I'm yeah, sweet. You are. I'm not really that sweet. I'm really a savage. Really? I'm a fucking wild man. You just have to let me show you that side of myself. No, 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 no. I like the sweet side. I know enough savages already. Yeah, yeah, but I'm a savage with a very sweet side. Plus, I'm, I'm the man in the uniform, mm. right? I told you that I would make more time for you. I took you out to dinner, didn't I? No, 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 Griffin, it's not that. It's just that I'm not happy anymore. Well, what do you want me to do? I, I, I cannot get a divorce. I don't want you to do anything. I just don't want to be with you anymore. What'd you do? Did you meet somebody else? No. Yeah, come on, who is it? Who's the guy? Would you meet some other guy with, like, a big cock or something? Is that what happened? Nobody you'd know. Oh, so you did. There is somebody else. What is he? Some little kid that you go, you know, walking in the park with, you hold hold his hand and go to the movies with, and then you hold his huge cock in the movie. Is that what happens? Griffin, I really don't think that you're in a position to tell people what they can and can't do or who they can and can't be with, OK? Hey, my position is a little bit different, all right? I can't just stop seeing my wife. You're gonna regret this. Maybe, but I doubt it.